These are children who vomit and uh, to the point of dehydration come into emergency rooms repeatedly as if they have the stomach flu, but it keeps happening over and over again and usually misdiagnosed as they have the stomach flu, they have food poisoning, but it happens 10 to 15 times. And uh, one of the special features besides vomiting is that uh, the children are extremely nauseated and they usually have the same kind of attack. In other words, it starts at the same time, it lasts the same number of hours, so it's very what we call stereotypical. Each, each episode seems to be the repeat of the previous one, and that argues that it's something within them rather than a different virus each time. We do believe that it's a cousin to migraine headaches, and uh, there are several things that make say that, that uh, usually there are lots of migraines in the families of uh, the child, uh, in your family. Secondly, when the child gets older, oftentimes they will end the vomiting sometime during their teenage years, but unfortunately trade it off for migraine headaches. And so we do think there's a strong relationship to migraine. And in fact, most of the medications that we use are not GI medications, but they're actually anti-migraine medications. I will tell you that many of the parents are the ones that have actually brought the disorder to their uh, physician's attention and help the physician make the diagnosis. So I really recommend the parents be very proactive in looking for information. There's enough information out there they can tell whether the child, their child is a good match for the disorder and bring this to the attention of their doctors.